Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The timekeeper, my fellow friend, ladies and gentlemen. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. For the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this world will never exist without the Almightiness, the God of all, practice of the domes, to the fastness of the universe. Thanks to Him, the praises to Him for all the things He has granted us. And may we not forget a salawat and salam to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam along with his families and his fellow followers until the end of the time. Ladies and gentlemen, in this happy and blessed moment, we are gathered in this lovely place, where in the next few minutes, I would like to share my perspective about the role of Islamic student, the Islamic God in developing Indonesia. To begin with, I'd like to ask all of you first, do you know General Sudirman? Have you ever heard of Imam Bonjol? What about Bung Tomo? Where are they actually? Yes, you're right. They were the heroes of Indonesia, and for information, they were Islamic students. Brother and sister, what come to your mind when you heard the word Islamic student? Are they the people who only learn about Islam? Or maybe the people was activists or just reading books, memorizing Quran and praying? Or the people who live in humble place and work hard to fulfill their needs? No. Those are wrong perspective. Islamic students are the people who learn more about Islam and implement in their daily life. So they can make this world better than before. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Islamic student. Before I became Islamic student, many people said that I could be a homosexual by being Islamic student because I live in place where I am surrounded by men. No woman at all. They also said that a call be claimed and terrorist because many Muslim nowadays and claimed and terrorist. But after I reduced to an Islamic boarding school and become Islamic student, I think Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala very much because he there. I'm touch how to be good Muslim there. I'm touch how to live a simple way. I'm touch to interact with other people nicely and I'm touch how to leader of this country. Show that the Islamic student are really touched to be the again chance who can let country glory based on Islamic rules. Brother and sister, we know that the country which has biggest Muslim population is Indonesia. Is that that the Muslim population is about 85% from the total of 2579 million Indonesia. This huge number should be able to make this country become a great Islamic country. But unfortunately, we can see that this happening now. Robbers and happening everywhere and most the robbers are Muslim. Many in us girls are being raped on most of the rappers and Muslim. But remember, ladies and gentlemen, those Muslim who do this horrible action or the Muslim who never learn about Islam, they only get their status as Muslim because they were born from Muslim parents. Those people are only destroying the God name of Islam on become the citizen trash. They never read the Quran and learn its meaning to to whether they went about thinking and impact themselves to the nation and to the religion. Ladies and gentlemen, Indonesia, we need someone who can change this horrible situation that has happening this beloved nation. We need someone who can raise the God name of Islam in the yes of the world. We need someone who can be the role model of Muslim so that people will know how God Islam is. Ladies and gentlemen, so else going to be the person that I have just mentioned on other hand, Islamic student, we are only on the can bring this country to its glory based on the Islamic rules because we have been touched about Islam and how to manage something perfectly and roll someone strictly. And the question is, what can we as Islamic students do to develop this country? Here are, here are some ways that thing we can do. First, learn more about Islam. Read Al-Quran and As-Sunnah more or understand the meaning because the guidance for every Muslim and are Al-Quran and As-Sunnah. Therefore, the characteristic of a true Muslim will be build our soul and we can become 
a greater Muslim. Second, implement all the teaching that we have learned in Islamic boarding school every aspect of life. Teach the citizen about Islam and show them the attitude Rasulullah SAW sent his the best man ever create. Touch this why people will understand Islam bring happiness, patch, mercy, and no less not war. Last but not least, after we have understood Islam perfectly and we have saw the people of how Islam teach us to live is the right way. We have to go to the next level, which is leading people to the right way. We have to the leader every aspect of life, especially the leader of this country, because only touch this way we can make this below nation great Islamic citizen that is all of these enemies. Brother and sister, remember nothing will be changed until someone changes something. As what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the whole Quran, which means very Allah will not change the situation of one tree on the chance situation by themselves. Quran Surah R2 11. Brother and sister, we are Imam Bonjo. Nobody will stand against the Dutch police. We are Bung Tomo. The Indonesian will never get the spirit and bravery to fight against the Dutch. You are General Sudirman, the Indonesian will never be able to wipe the Dutch out of his country. Without Islamic student, Indonesia will never be the Indonesian that we know today. This country is the responsibility given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have to protect it and maintain based of the law of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Therefore, we as Islamic student play a big role in succeeding this mission. Don't wait for Indonesia because Indonesia has been waiting for you. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.